Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison on all four of these milk frothers. I have detailed videos on each one of them. I'll be going over some basic features and we'll be frothing some 2% milk and seeing how they do. But if you want to see a detail on how each one performs, check out that individual video. On the left here, I got the Panas... So, this was a little deceiving. Deceiving. Panasonite. I thought that was Panasonic. Um... It's, it's just kind of a play on words and their box art and everything. It, it really looks like Panasonic, but it's not. Um, here I got the AVO, Secura, and then another Secura. Now, I really liked starting getting into these. These are dishwasher safe. When you've got these handheld ones, the electricity comes through this connection down here and you cannot get this, you're not, you cannot put this in the dishwasher. You got to be really careful when you wash these out. You got to get a brush and, and rinse them. And then you can't get water down in here or you can't get water here. So what I find over time is these are harder to clean. And a frother like this, there's no electrical connection. There's nothing. All of the electricity is down in the base. Now, you can't put the base in water, but I can take this jug on all three of these and I can put this in the dishwasher. And it's very nice, very easy to clean up. You know, you can take it over the sink, get it all nice and wet. So really started to get into these milk frothers. I've got a bunch of these. And like I said, I like these, but they're just a lot harder to clean because of this electrical connection down here. Okay, so these three all kind of operate under the same principle. You've got this whisk down in here that you've got to take on and off. Now, I found on the Panasonic that it's a little hard to get on and off this whisk. You got to pull it straight up and it, you got to get your hand kind of way down in the, the milk jug. See, and you got to pull it straight up. If you get this off to the side a little bit as you're pulling it up, it catches on a hook and you can't get it off. I almost broke it. But they operate under magnetism, so there's going to be some kind of magnet in there that's going to make cause that to spin, and then it's going to heat up the milk. On the Aveo, this one is built into the lid, so there's not that whisk down at the bottom it's built into the lid so you got to have the lid on whenever you're frothing and what i found with this is the whisk is a little tricky it does a really good job you got to keep this area nice and clean you gotta let that make sure that can move but to get the whisk on and off is a little tricky you gotta uh, push pull that up and then there's a little o-ring here and so it's not really meant to come apart that much but i did find that i can keep it clean pretty good with um using a brush on the Secura, this is probably the nicest one as far as getting the whisk on and off. It just pops right on and off. I, it's got a nice big opening where I can get my hand down in there, and it's just very, very easy to pop it on and off. Again, it's got a base. The Secura, the handheld ones, these have that pretty much that whisk that has a notch, and you're going to line it up with that little notch right there. And then it holds the other one. This is for heating milk, is in the lid. Now with these milk frothers with the base, they usually keep, so that they all have a froth, um, a whisk without the whisk. So you put this in when you want to do uh, heat milk. It spins the milk, but it won't whisk it and put air in it. Same with the Aveo, it's got, no. The Aveo doesn't have one, I'm sorry. It does not have one. And the Pansonite has one in the base also. So again, these three with the base all beep, but I found the Aveo beeps the loudest. The Secure, the handheld one, does not beep. So the controls are all just a little bit different. This one's got a, a light for all the different options. The Aveo, you've got to uh, press. So the Aveo, you got to turn it on and then press the button twice if you want to do it cold or hot which can be a little tricky. And the Secura is one button, but you just gotta keep pressing it on whatever you want. It'll do hot, hot chocolate. The blue is it'll do, uh, it'll froth cold. And then the Secura, it's just got one button. You press it once, it does hot and frothing. But if you hold the button, it will only froth cold. So they all operate just a little different. Now they all have kind of different quantities. They all hover around the four ounce mark. Now the Pansonite is probably the biggest one of them all. It's got four ounces for the minimum and nine ounces for the max for frothing. So it's, it's probably the biggest one that can froth. And then it also does up to, it does 12 ounces. 
for if you want to do hot milk. The Aveo, this one's four ounces is its max. So it's probably the smallest one. It does 10 ounces, it's got another max line. That's 10 ounces if you want to just heat milk. I also found with the Aveo that it, it, it sits on the base okay. These are really solid, how they sit on the base. It's very, this one kind of moves around. I, I never noticed a problem with it, but it just doesn't kind of sit right where it should. Now it does help when you get a little bit of milk on there and it gets a little bit of weight to it. It'll kind of sit there and kind of center itself. This Secura, so the minimum is five ounces. And then it's got a middle mark, which is six ounces for the max for frothing. And then it's max milk is 8.5 ounces. Then the Secura here, this is four ounces for the minimum, five ounces for the max, and then nine ounces for just heating milk. So see, they all kind of operate just a little different. So in my detailed reviews, I did 2% milk, almond milk, and fat-free milk. They all did really good with all those milks. So today, I'm just gonna put in 2%. We're gonna go to the max line on all of them. You know, the, the Secure is easy to read. This one's a little tricky, it's over there. We're gonna go to the middle one. The Aveo, this is probably the easiest one to read. Pansonine, it's probably the hardest one to read. They're kind of, they're not the best to read, but I'm gonna go right, right about there to that level. That's about the same as these. So Miss Fiona comes every time I start a video now. I've started a bad habit. She wants a treat. Okay, so I'm gonna start the timer. I'll try to start all these the same, but they're all just a little different. So I've gotta press it once. I've gotta turn this one on. Oh. This one I gotta hit once, and then this one once. Okay, so noise wise, um, the Secura handheld one's probably the quietest. The Pansonite, this one here is probably the loudest. Now, the whisk got kind of vibrating a little bit in there and it, sometimes it can make kind of a little bit of a racket. Now it doesn't, it does fine, it just wiggles a little bit. The Aveo, it's kind of nice and steady. This, this Secura was probably the second quietest. It always helps when you put the lid on them too. So this handheld Secura is really getting some nice foam going. Okay, so this handheld Secura finished up first. It doesn't beep at you. But it's got some really, really good creamy froth. Again, just not much of it. So these are definitely taking longer. And now it seems like this Secura, this one's kind of being loud, kind of vibrating a little bit. I should have got temperature. Try to get them. The Pansonite, I, the Pansonite was definitely the hottest. These other two hovered around 140. So the Pansonite is done. Again, it's, yeah, it's around 150. The Securas usually gets around 140. So let's see, this is really rich and creamy. So we're up about three and a half minutes for these two. They just gotta heat their milk up. I didn't show you, but the first Secura gets it around 140, 135, 140. Oh, 
Okay, so this secure is done. Nice and whoops, went overboard. <laughs> Makes a lot of froth. Again, this one's the loudest. Let's try it. It's a little tricky to use. Nice, rich and creamy, nice, rich and creamy. Okay, so let's get temperatures. Yeah, 140. Okay, so this one's pretty hot too, I forgot that. This one, same, 135. This one's cooled off a little bit. So yeah, they're all one between 140 and 150. Okay, so I like to add just a little bit of coffee to kind of show you the separation that you get. You've got the foam on the top. So here we can see about how much foam we get. Yeah, so this one definitely created a lot more foam. Now, as far as like smoothness and creaminess of it, you know, they're all about the same. I thought the Pansonite did a little bit better job earlier. But now they're all looking about the same. This one definitely seems... So the Secura base, one with a base, is a little more airy, a little more bubbly, a little more um, lightweight to it, if, you, if that's the word. Now this one just seems, this is pretty standard for those handheld ones. Now where the base unit struggled is with um, cold, frothing cold milk must be really hard. Now all of these machines, their manual said it should be 3% or higher like whole milk. They all said that they wouldn't work with fat-free almond or 2% milk. So, but most of the questions I get and most, I mean, most of the questions I get are, can frothers froth almond milk or fat-free milk or skim milk? Um, people really want um, an alternative to um, like 2% or whole milk. So that's kind of why I concentrated on the almond and the fat-free milk and the 2% milk. They all did a really good job frothing it hot. But if you look at the detailed videos, when I frothed it cold, it looked awful. Um, and it just flattened out right away. The Secura handheld one, it did the best frothing cold. Again, I've cleaned them all up. These handheld ones, they're just the hardest to clean because you can't get them really wet. Um, they all wipe off. Even though these are stainless steel, they wipe off pretty easy. This one did clean them the best because it, it, it just seems like a more of a nonstick surface everywhere. But these two with the stainless steel cleaned okay. So I was hoping for a clear advantage, like a clear which one would be the best. There's still nothing wrong with the handheld ones that have the electricity to going through them. Um, I actually had higher hopes for these base units. The beeps, um, I'm not sure why they all beeped. And again, this one beeped really loud. My dog didn't like it. The Secura seemed to be the less, less intrusive one. It still beeped at you, but it beeped less. The Pansonite, uh, it beeped the most. It was kind of beeping anytime you took it off and on, uh, finish. Um, but its its selector was a little bit easier to use. The Aveo, this was a little bit trickier to use, but once you figure them out, they're fine. The Secure has just got one button, so you just got to kind of keep pressing it. I guess if I had to pick, uh, originally I was going to pick the Aveo, but the Secure now one is seeming um, just a little bit better now. There's the Pansonite box. That looks like Panasonic. My, when I read the description on Amazon, everything in my head, my head was telling me I'm getting a Panasonic electric mill frother. That is, wow, I just cannot believe. I think the font is even the same. Um, it's definitely, it's not Panasonic. I looked all over it, it's not Panasonic. So these Secura ones, this is probably the newest one, this base Secura. This is one of Amazon's best selling with the handheld, they're Secura like this. That's probably their best-selling um, frother. But uh, this is one is one of the newest ones. And I get why people are wanting this. They're just so much easier to clean up. Um, again, you just don't have to worry about them. I could see if you accidentally got water in here or something, it might ruin it. And it would be very easy to do when you're cleaning it. Thanks, everybody, for your support. I got some exciting videos coming up. I've got Keurig versus Nespresso. I've got Keurig versus the new Ninja Dual Brew Pro. Uh, I get a lot of questions, which one should I buy, the, the Keurig uh, K-Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker or the Ninja Dual Brew Pro? Um, 
I always kind of thought of those as two different coffee makers, but I get the question so much, so I got to do a video on it. I also got the brand new Cuisinart grind and single serve coffee maker. It's got a little grinder on the left and a single serve uh, coffee maker on the right. So kind of got the email from Cuisinart that they had something new come out. So I thought I would buy it. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Just a Dad Tips. I've got lots of just odd uh, videos on there. Different energy drinks, how to videos, how to install some smart switches. I'm getting the brand new uh, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, so I'll be doing some videos on it, unboxing how it works. I even broke down and bought an iPhone. I'll be doing comparison videos with the iPhone and the brand new Samsung phone. So I hope I hit on all the highlights. Um, thanks to everybody's comments in the past. I've tried to get temperatures. I've tried to do uh, timing. Uh, I've tried to do quantities of the milk inside the frother. That's all thanks to the viewers out there. Um, I, I do these videos. And then somebody will say, hey, how much, what's the quantity of there? I'm like, oh, I forgot to put it in the video, so I'll, I'll make a note. Next time I do it, okay, so I'm going to put quantity, I'm going to take temperature. It gets a little tricky sometimes. I'm here by myself doing these videos. I really enjoy doing them. I really appreciate everybody's comments that are trying to help. I just really appreciate that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.